Hey guys, right time for a very overdue update video I think. Uh, I have been meaning to do this for a hell of a long time. Now as some of you know that follow me on social media, I have been talking about rebranding the channel for at least 18 months now, but I never really knew the best way to go about it or the fine details should we say. Um, However, this weekend I thought it's about time, so I decided sod it. I'm just going to jump into it and, um, and and get it done. I never really liked the Sega fan name. Um, the Sega fan name was attached to the channel essentially because that was the YouTube account that I was using at the time. Uh, I never planned on doing this. I never planned on um, getting into it like like I have. Um, it's something that I just started because I used to watch um, a chap called Kokoskia um, and I thought you know what I wouldn't mind to have a go at that it'd probably be rubbish and nobody will watch but uh, yeah let's have a go anyway um, it's one of the few things in my life that I actually um, <sighs> attempted should we say um, that for some reason I just got absolutely hooked on it I remember at one point I was um, doing 14 videos a week. Uh, there were certain days that I remember that I was doing three videos a day back in the early days. Um, and it's something that I've, I just, I can't stop, you know? I, I enjoy it. If I don't record or stream or something, um, I find myself getting miserable. Um, it has become as much of it as... <laughs> As much as it has become a hobby, it's also a curse in a way, because it's just, it is what I do now. It, 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 it's, you know, the only pastime that really uh, makes me happy. But the one thing, um, through all of this time, that I have not liked is my name. So, I've decided to rebrand. Um, it is Titan Gaming. Um, which makes a lot of sense. Uh, I was always sold on the idea that I was going to go down the Titan route, but a friend of mine um, actually has been writing a um, stream fanfic, which is actually extremely good. Um, and the main character of that is called Titan. Now, Titan is actually uh, an old nickname of mine from one of my... Uh, jobs way back when um so that's why i wanted to use the name but he spelt it as in t y t a n so it still um it still sounds the same it's still titan but um it's spelt with the first two letters of my real name and i actually really like that um now the channel art that's going up is very basic uh, as you can see these things will improve um as time goes on everything at the moment is just a placeholder also um, I've kind of, I've tried to give myself a little bit of a fresh start here. Uh, I've invested in a lot of new equipment. Um, the past couple of, uh, past couple of months, I would say. I've put about a thousand pound into my equipment, uh, if you could believe it. Um, I've brought a brand new microphone. Uh, I have a Rode MT USB now, which, in my opinion, is much better than the Yeti. The Yeti had a really annoying uh, whine that I did try and um, edit out the best I could, but I just I could never um, fix the problem. Um, I, I don't know what was wrong with it. I did try several uh, computers. I tried several Yetis, in fact, but I could never get rid of the pitch. And also, it used to pick up everything around me. I mean, sure, it's a condensed microphone. That's kind of what they do. But the Yeti was a was a bit of an extreme case. The microphone that I now have is um, it's come from a professional brand, you know, Rode. I suppose the only thing really that you could go better than a Rode microphone would be a Sennheiser. Um, so I'm happy with it. It's got uh, a really nice pop filter that came with it, which the Yeti was £30 extra for their particular pop filter. Um, it's also got a built-in... Uh, I'm trying to think what you call it now. Um, God damn it. The name escapes me. But basically, when you, when you tap this microphone, you can't actually um, hear it very audible. 
Uh, it's not very audible. Like, for instance, if I went to mute the Yeti, it was really loud. The second you touch the Yeti, there's like a massive kind of really abrupt banging sound on the audio. This mic doesn't have any of that. Okay, this is uh, this does have the sound dampener built in and the pop filter that comes with it. Um, now, I also invested in the Rode um, sound, uh, well, microphone arm. That was like almost £100 on its own because the weight of the Yeti, oh, one thing to mention about this microphone is also a lot lighter. The weight of the Yeti actually kind of broke my old microphone stand over, over the years because it did weigh like two pounds or something. It was a really huge, obnoxious, obnoxious thing. Um, the only problem with this microphone is it didn't come with a mute button. Uh, a mute button is extremely important. So I did the only reasonable thing. I went out and I brought an Elgato Stream Deck um, as well. Um, there's a shop in the UK called Maplins, which uh, as I am, uh, as I've been made aware, is very similar to something like Radio Shack, even though I think they've gone the way of the dodo now as well. Um, but they were shutting down. These are supposed to be about £150 each. Um, this one that I have now was half price and I've macroed loads of things so I can record and everything from this. My god guys, the stream deck is ridiculous. It's such a useful bit of kit. So now I can mute my mic and everything like that and it's, uh, you know, really well integrated and um, you can edit everything and have um, all your pictures and all that saved as your buttons, which is very nice. Um, also, I needed a... To make streaming easier, I kind of needed another monitor. Trouble is, I don't really have anywhere with my current setup to have another monitor, so I brought a laptop. Ugh. So I now have a laptop um, as a second monitor, which is... Um, you know, it's nothing super amazing. It's just a um, i3 SSD kind of laptop. It's very nice. Um, just for just for this, really. Just so I can have um, my stream chat up and my stream window up. So that's uh, another another bit of kit that I'm hope, hope, hoping is going to streamline uh, everything just a little bit. So the name Titan is now... Titan Gaming is now, um, now in full effect. Uh, I do need to cross the T's and dot the I's, there's a few accounts outstanding that I need to sort out, like um, changing the URLs, uh, matching up my Facebook page, obviously my Twitter and all that kind of stuff, tying everything together. Um, the one thing that I'm not sure about is thumbnails. Obviously, thumbnails are going to have to change. They're not I mean, the actual design of them, I don't think, is going to change too much. But, obviously, the, the font and um, the overall colour scheme and everything is going to be quite a bit different, I think. Um, now, the trouble is, when you've got two and a half thousand thumbnails, uh, what to do? I don't really know what I can do. Oh, yes, and the other thing that made the um, this microphone an absolutely essential must was during live streaming, the Yeti used to um, have a very annoying high pitch that I mentioned earlier. But it was amplified in like when I was live streaming. Um, which, when I'm doing recordings and let's plays, I can kind of edit it out with, um, with software. But obviously when you're live streaming, there's nothing you can really do. Um, and it was amplified and I did have a couple of people mention that on some of my live streams so saying that there's a really annoying buzz and uh, how it's like you know <laughs> unpleasant to watch and yeah yeah that's fair that that's fair feedback so I did have to uh, upgrade the mic um, that's that that was the straw that broke the camel's back you know no one's gonna stick around and watch a live stream if all you can hear is an annoying whining buzz and I'm not talking about my voice so that's that. Um, thumbnail design, I'm going to be working on that a little bit, hopefully uh, finalise something. The current Let's Plays that I have that are being recorded now, I think I'm going to change their designs over possibly and, and I might go back and do my backlog. Um, I will 
Ooh, I don't know. It, it all depends how much time I get because, you know, I, I work 40, 45, 60, up, uh, well, up to 60 hours a week. So I don't get a lot of time. Um, but I'm going to do what I can. And um, I'm really going to try and kickstart this whole thing. And um, because, you know, this is what I like to do. You know, a lot of people in my personal uh, life don't understand it. Um, they think it's weird that this is how I choose to spend my, my spare time. Uh, but on the flip side of that, I have a lot of people that totally understand it. Uh, my brother is into it himself, and one of my friends, uh, Neil, he has started up his new channel. And he's starting to get a bit of the bug now, I think. Um, and there's just something addictive about it, you know? There's something relaxing about it. I, I find it very hard now to go, uh, and if I do get a bit of time, to play a game when I'm not recording. Uh, I've brought a couple of cool games on the PlayStation um, recently, and when I have got a bit of time to sit down and play them, I start playing them, and I'm like, I feel like I, if I'm not recording it, if I'm not um, chronicling these adventures, if you will, I feel like I'm wasting my time. And, yeah, that's, that's such a strange... Strange thing to actually admit out loud. Um, yeah, but uh, but that's the state of it anyway, guys. Um, I'm going to start rambling and losing where I am now. Um, but live streams, hopefully, will continue. Um, they're still chaotic and all over the place because I, I fit them in whenever I get time, really. Uh, videos will, for the foreseeable future, be uh, Monday, Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Um, and as for videos recorded, I have so many games, actually, that um, that have been recorded. Uh, basically, what we do now, we're, we're doing Shadow of the Colossus. Holy shit, Shadow of the Colossus. I finished that ages ago. Like, like ages ago. Um, we're also doing Red... Oh, God, Red Dead Redemption as well. Bloody hell, I, I think I finished that months ago. Um, then I have another Let's Play... Uh, Fully completed and recorded and ready to go. And I'm <laughs> I have another one that's fully completed uh, and ready to go. I also have God of War. Uh, which I'm not sure whether I'm going to stream. Or whether I'm going to create a Let's Play series out. Now here's the thing. Uh, one thing that I would like some feedback on, yeah, yeah, well, I say one thing, uh, feedback is always good. Uh, constructive feedback, um, not negative feedback, you know. If I'm doing something wrong, let me know. But don't say, oi, fucking dickhead, you're shit. I think you're, I don't know, an asshole, you know, because I, I don't read that stuff. Uh, but yeah, constructive re uh, feedback is always good. But when it comes to streaming, I don't know... When it comes to me archiving my videos, uh, I don't know whether it's... Say, for instance, we stream for two hours. Is it worth cutting that stream into four half-an-hour sections? Or is it worth just uploading it as a two-hour stream? Now, I've asked this question before, and a lot of people say that they don't bother watching archive streams because they're too long. And, yeah, I totally get that. But I'm looking for a fresh opinion on, on the thing. Now, multiplayer stuff is not going to be archived, like um, our player unknown. Um, or should I say PvE stuff is not going to be archived, like player unknown. Uh, what else do we play that's PvE? Um, there's uh, Gary's Mod. Um, and uh, a few other things. We're also playing Dead Island at the moment. But when we do co-op games that have like a point and a story, I think I am going to archive those. We've already started Dead Island. Um, we're not that far into it, and they have been chaotic streams, so I don't think they're quite up to the quality. I don't think it's quite up to the quality that I, I would... Uh, say it's worth keeping just because you know we've all been late we've all been messing around sorting out settings and computer bits and pieces and whatnot so i think um those well that game is going to be just uh just streamed um if we start anything from now on uh now i've got all of my settings and, and i'm really happy for the first time ever ever 
I'm really happy with my mic. I've never, I was never happy with the Yeti. Um, so everything on my end should now be fine. Um, but we'll see what's going to happen in the future. Um, all of my social medias obviously are going to stay the same, but they are going to be renamed. Um, I don't think I've, I've missed anything out. This update is now like 15 minutes long. Bloody hell. Um, hmm. So anyway, thanks for all the support um, through all of these years, guys. It's been crazy. I cannot actually believe that I've been doing this for about five years, probably longer than five years. I think seriously about five years I've been putting into this. And uh, it's never been about the subscribers or, you know, any of or the ad revenue or any of that rubbish. I just enjoy doing this, you know? It's just a hobby of mine, you know? I'm not a pro gamer or anything like that. I just, I, I just do it to relax. And for whatever reason, some of you guys have decided to, um, to tag along. But, uh, yeah, I just want to say thank you guys for sticking around. And uh, it's always fun to see to see this channel grow. Um, I don't know where it's going to end up. I don't know if I'm going to carry on doing it forever. I don't know what's going to happen. But I do know that I am fucking enjoying myself. And I hope you guys are enjoying it. So thanks for listening guys. And as always, until next time.